and the Nigerian Economic Summit has kick-started in Abuja with a focus on creating opportunities for youths nationwide. The chairman of the summit, Asue Hodalo, says that the summit, which will look at various themes in the course of three days, has dedicated several sessions to deliberate on how to empower Nigerian youths. The Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, while giving a keynote address, says that the federal government is not unaware of the current economic situation in the country, but is hopeful its economic sustainability plan would cushion the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on small businesses and will support them from collapse. The nation belongs to over 100 million youth of this country. It is in recognition of this reality and in keeping with the NESG's commitment to constructive engagement as the ultimate path to progress that we have included a session in this year's summit on unlocking the productive potential of Nigerian youth and a closing plenary around the unifi unifying theme, empowering our youth. This is to ensure that the ambitions and concerns of the younger generation are captured in our deliberations over the next two days. Theirs is the future that must be impacted by how the Nigerian economy develops. And it is important that their voices are adequately situated in our musings about the country's economic future. This administration is fully aware of the current economic situation and is working around the clock to reverse the trend and restore the economy on the path of sustainable, inclusive growth. To achieve this, government had developed is uh, an economic sustainability plan to cushion the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic and is already vigorously implementing these policies that are aimed at stabilizing the economy. The principles behind the ESP is one, taking action to stimulate the economy by preventing business collapse through ensuring liquidity. Two, retaining and creating jobs through support to labor-intensive sectors such as agriculture and direct labor interventions. Three, undertaking growth enhancing and job-creating crea job infrastructure investments in roads, rails, bridges, solar power, as well as communications technologies. The youth that's not been properly educated, that has not been trained um, and has a solid foundation to stand on, is going to have challenges. They're going to, you know, even when the jobs become available, if they've not received proper education and proper training, they may not be able to take advantage. So for us in Edo, our first priority is education. Making sure that we train our teachers so that they can train these children. And ensuring that the educational system is strong enough, the curriculum is well defined, and and make sure that we begin to emphasize proficiency. We begin to emphasize skills, not certificates. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.